So the question for the day is, what's the difference between 6010 and 6011? You can see I got it written up there. And how this came about was I did a video on what farm rod is, and that is 6010 and 6011 is generally considered what farm rod is. And people kept asking me the question, well, what's the difference between 6010 and 6011? And in the industry, the internationally known answer is there is no difference. Just run it. Hurry up. You're right. Um, so 6010 and 6011, obviously there's a difference or there wouldn't be two different designations, right? So uh, we're going to start with, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important is it that you know the difference between 6010 and 6011 if you're in the welding uh, field? And it's relatively low because it's so minimal. I'd say like a 2, maybe? Nobody's going to call you a fool because you don't know the difference between 6010 and 6011. Most people don't even consider it a different rod. Now, the obvious differences, I got written here, different, the same, right? So if you look at the designation, the first two letters, I'll do a circle around them, or letters, the first two numbers, rather, are 60. That's the same, right? On both. So it can't be that, right? What does 60 mean? It's tensile strength. 60,000 pounds per square inch, minimal tensile strength. Right here, I got it written, right? Uh, the next designation, is a one, we'll do another circle around that, because again, it's the same. The third number is position, it's an all position rod, so both of them are all positions. And the last uh, number is the only different one, right? So we'll put a square around this, because it's different. And then we'll point here with a different, and here. So that's the difference, right, in the designation. What does that exactly mean? Well, it's the coating composition, all right? And the electrical characteristics. That is what the last number means, right? Operating characteristics and the flux, basically. So we're gonna look at what that means here in a second, but that's the only difference in the designation, right? There's a lot more similarities than there is differences, all right? They're both fast freeze rods. They solidify very quickly, all right? Deep penetration, so they're good for like root passes and things like that. So they're both deep gouging rods, deep penetration. Very little slag. You can take a wire wheel and just zip the slag off, right? We already went over the tensile strength, right? They're both the same. I did, however, do a little Google search and it said that 6010 tends to be a higher tensile strength. I don't know the validity of that. There was conflicting stuff, so I just left it alone. For right now, we're going to say it's the same, 60,000 pounds minimal tensile strength, because we know that's absolutely true. And then all positions for both rods. So let's get back to this last number here and the differences. And the only two differences I can find or think of for 6010 and 6011, first is 6011 runs on AC. AC or DC, all right? While 6010 only runs on DC. That's the only difference I can find in the electrical characteristics. And then the flux, there's a definite difference in that. But flux has cellulose, so they're both highly cellulose-based fluxes. 6010 has sodium added to it, and 6011 has potassium added to it. That is the difference in 6010 and 6011. You can run this on AC, and one has sodium and one has potassium. Those are the only two differences in the rod. That's why many people in industry say 1610 and 1611 are the same thing. It's not 100% accurate, but they are very similar with all this stuff here. So if you can't find 1610 and that's what you want, then you have 1611, it's probably okay to use and vice versa. So those are the differences between 1610 uh, and 1611. There's not a lot of them. It's not a huge deal if you're in the welding field and you don't know that, uh, what the differences are. Um, so if you're using a garage welder and it's got a buzz box, which I'm going to do the next word of the week because if you don't know what a buzz box is, that's an AC running welder and they buzz because the electricity is going back and forth in a side rate. Um, you'd want to use 6011, that's all. So I guess that would be the main thing to understand if you have a buzz box here, I want to use 6011 over 6010, all right? So hopefully that clears up the differences between 6010 and 6011, how few they are. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.